Hi, I'm Linda Peterson and I'm in the studio today creating something that reminds me especially of my mom. I'm creating a little basket from chicken wire and then I'm incorporating some of her broken jewelry. You'll need a piece of chicken wire. Uh, mine is approximately nine of these little squares wide by six squares long here. You can see that I'm using the edge of my chicken wire because it has the finished edge and sometimes these edges can be a little sharp so watch out for that. It certainly isn't a project for kids and if you're a little concerned about cutting yourself you might want to wear a pair of gloves if that works. But your, the first step is to fold the ends together and match the seam just like this. The next step is to wind these little ends around the opposite side here and I've added just a little piece of cloth here so you could see a little better what I was doing. This is only to show you because that way it shows up for the camera a little more. And I have a pair of pliers here so it helps to bend these ends around like this. And then cut those off either with your pliers or with a little pair of wire cutters and make sure that you secure those ends nice and good. Trim off anything that is sharp or you can even use a nail file to file those down. So you're going to do this the entire length of this seam and you'll begin to see your basket forming. So after you've secured your seam you're going to be left with this cylinder just like this and then you've got all of these little jagged ends down here at the bottom. So you're going to have to kind of massage this in and you're going to fold these ends in and this is where you're going to have to do little nips and tucks with um, your wire cutters there. So you're just going to flatten out this bottom. Sometimes you have to cut some of the wire away. That's okay. And you're just going to make this have a nice flat bottom. And again, you're going to go ahead and you're going to twist all these little ends around themselves to create this this bottom. It's the exact same technique that you use to secure the back of the chicken wire. I've completed my initial basket and I'm going to set this aside because now I've got to work on the handle. I'm using a 20 gauge galvanized steel wire. You get this from the hardware store. It's just a length and you can make this any length that you want. And basically all I'm going to do is just loop this back and forth two or three times. Like this and the end of the wire I'm going to wrap around the middle. If you run out of wire you can just wrap more wire around and you're going to pinch this together. Just keep wrapping your wire up uh, both sides of this uh, handle here and bend it in half and it'll look like this one. Then I'll use that galvanized wire and I'll just wire it on to the front and the back of my basket just like I've done with this one. And this one's actually a little smaller. This is my first one that I've embellished. And I've taken some bits and pieces of broken jewelry from my mom's stash of jewelry. And I've just put a little wire through right here through this little um, this little charm and decide where you want it. And again, you're just going to wrap the ends. Turn it off a little bit. I'm just going to wrap those ends around. It's the same exact technique that you've done when you finished off the basket. When you're finished, you've got this really adorable little embellished wire basket. This little basket would make such a cute little gift basket to put a little something in there for somebody special. I'm Linda Peterson, and I think it's cool to craft.